Hey, this is Orion's Angel, and this is a tutorial on how to add Hyperspace Madness's reflective shaders. First, you're going to want to download his pack, and uh, once you do that, you're going to want to open up here where it says shaders, and you're going to want to go to your launch folder, launch box folder, and then you're going to want to go to RetroArt, and then you're going to want to go to shaders and just drag and drop shaders underscore slang to the shaders folder of RetroArch and that's it you can now use them you're they're where they should be and uh, so what you're gonna do is again in case you didn't understand you're gonna wanna I'm gonna show drag and drop here you're gonna wanna put it here in shaders and you see it down here see and that's it alright now we're in um, retro arc and you're going to want to hit F1 you're gonna to want to go to drivers and you're gonna to want to switch your video to Vulcan it's probably going to be on GL you're gonna to want to go to Vulcan in order for it to save Vulcan you're gonna to have to go to quick menu then go to overrides and make sure to save it to core overrides uh, you can save it also to uh, content directory if you want and um, then uh, restart restart uh, retro arc and you'll be in Vulcan once you're in Vulcan you're gonna want to go to shaders and you're gonna want to load your shader you're gonna want to go to shaders underscore slang bezel and here's all your different uh, reflective shaders the one I've been using is the this one, the Dr. Venom one. That's the second one of number four. That's the one I've been using. You can try others if you like. And once we have the bezel open, it might not be aligned, so you're gonna wanna go to video and you can adjust it here if you want. In the position you want if you want to make it easier you can go to on-screen overlay um, and then go to opacity 25 and then go here and you'll be able to see uh, the bezel easier as you're working to adjust the frame now some people well not some people a person commented in uh, one of my videos that uh, he found their reflective uh, frame uh, to be distracting now that's not a problem because hyperspace madness put so many options in the shaders that there's an option for everybody so if you don't want to use reflective um, you know you don't want to use reflections because you think it's distracting you can go to where was it again you gotta go to reflective there's a lot of stuff here I mean he went all out this is amazing uh, you have to go to okay here reflective global okay you want to go to global amount this one you're gonna want to lower this one and you're gonna want to lower this one and now it's gone no more reflection but now it might be too dark for some people so you can go up here to brightness and brighten up the bezel so you can see it better see like that you know you can adjust it the way you like there you go see no more reflections but why would you want to do that the reflections are awesome and realistic but that's just my opinion <laughs> anyway now some games have that same problem as last time where the screen isn't centered well don't worry because hyperspace madness thought of that too so you're gonna want to go to shaders again shader parameters and you're gonna want to go to cropping this lets you actually move this just the screen not the frame and it does a really good job of it okay this is up okay we're going to move it left that's it now you'll see that it's in the center of the screen
Once you do that, always remember to save or else none of this will matter. Uh, this will save to the core you're using, this will save to the directory where all your games are, and this will save for just one game. Global will do the whole thing, so you don't want to touch global. Make sure to always do that before you use override, say, if you use the shader, because not, because if you save overrides and then don't do any, and then don't save the shaders here, if you don't save this, nothing counts. Uh, you, you'll go back and you go, where are all my shader settings? Or they, and it's like I didn't do anything. Well, it's because you didn't save. So now go to overrides. And now y you can do an override for all the games. But since th this game has this problem, I'm just going to do it for this one game. And that would be the one at the bottom. And that's it. So now I saved it just for this game. Although most Master System games seem to have this problem. So you'll be fixing a lot of them. So, okay. These are the main things you have to worry about when adding bezels to RetroArch. First of all, video settings, scaling. This is going to be one of the things you have to think about when you're adding bezels to adjust the screen. Next, on-screen overlay. This is where you add your overlay. Overlay preset. If you're bezels are in the right in in the well you can actually go to parent directory and add where your the location of your bezels are in your directory for windows so but here's where you would add the bezels see you would pick one and then add it the next thing would be the shaders. This is where you load your shaders. This is where you save. And parameters is where you make all the adjustments. And Hyperspace Madness has added some... I mean, he thought of everything. You can adjust this any way you want. And then overrides is where you save your content. Override and these two first ones will save everything for this system and this will save for just one game those are the main things when you're adding bezels alright so now let's go through that again First thing you want to do is go to drivers, go to video, add Vulcan, make sure to save, make sure to pick these two. You can pick both, but I usually pick the top one. And restart RetroArch, and you'll be in Vulcan. Then go to shaders, load. Go to shaders underscore slang. Go to bezel. Here are all your different um, reflective uh, bezels or frames rather from Hyperspace Madness. Um, then after you do that, you're going to want to add your bezel. You're going to go here, find your directory for your bezel. You're going to want to add your bezel here, pick it, then go back, then make any adjustments you want in videos and scaling or in, um, in the shaders parameters. You can do all different kinds of adjustments as well. After everything is how you like it, make sure you save your shader settings. Don't touch global unless you want it for all the games. This is just for the core. This is just in all the games in the directory. And this is just for one game, one particular game you're using. Once everything is how you like it, go to overrides. If you want to save it for all the games, these two. If you just want to save it for one game, this game. And that's it. I know RetroArch can be uh, intimidating, but... Once you just focus on certain particular things and just, it becomes routine. 
even I don't know everything in RetroArch. Uh, I, I, I've just learned from um, trial and error and just, you know, doing it over and over again. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And thanks to Hyperspace Madness for his amazing reflective shaders. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell button to get notified. And I'll catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.